a double shooting that happened last night and it happened in Berkeley County. We know now that one person is dead, another person is hurt by the shooting. Berkeley County Sheriff Dwayne Lewis says it may not have happened if the suspect had his bond revoked. As it was, he was out free on the streets. News 2's Raymond Owen spoke to the sheriff this afternoon and he has more. Just after 10 last night, a Berkeley County deputy was patrolling Pine Shadow Drive in the Pineland Heights subdivision in Goose Creek when he heard multiple gunshots fired just 100 feet away. A Chevy Malibu sped by with no lights on. The deputy pulled the car over. The female driver of the vehicle, Caitlin Alcantara, was in the vehicle with gunshot wounds. John L. Jacob Harris was a passenger in the Malibu. He was charged with discharging a firearm into a building. Another male passenger, Nicholas Bradley Valentine, had gunshot wounds and died at the scene. Christopher Eugene Smith III of Goose Creek has been arrested for murder and weapons violations. Neighbors did not want to talk on camera but said shootings are an ongoing problem. It's scary. It's not a good feeling. It's not. You know, you see it on TV all the time, but when it gets this close, it gets, it gets bad. Smith had been arrested by Berkeley County deputies for three weapons violations and two drug violations on November 16th. At that time, he was already on probation for arrest for weapons-related charges. Berkeley County deputies notified probation and parole agents who indicated that they were going to revoke his parole. That did not happen. Smith bonded back out on a total of $90,000 surety bond. Sheriff Dwayne Lewis says if Smith's bond had been revoked, this may not have happened. Well, I, you know, I don't want to point any fingers to anybody, um, but looking at it now, um, you know, had the individual been in jail, this may not have happened. Chief Deputy Coroner George Oliver says an autopsy is being conducted today in this case and they expect to release additional information in the near future. In Monk's Corner, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.